stitchers. Hi. Happy Sunday. Um, today is already with the chairs. Already. We have party chairs today. <laughs> yes, long story. Um, yeah. The couch is somewhere else. The couch that we sat on last time is moved temporarily. Yeah. And so in a panic, I needed chairs to sit on. And so we have camping chairs. And yeah, see? So, <laughs> so when we move and you hear a fart sound, it's not us. Yeah. It's good times. Yes. We're already starting off with bang here today. Yeah. So today is uh, Sunday, November 5th. Yes. And this is our fifth video. No. I'm sorry. Twelfth. <laughs> the fifth. Today is the fifth. It is the fifth. Yeah. It's the twelfth video. Twelfth video. Twelfth lost you. Yes. And we're so excited to be here. I'm Jeanette. I'm Cheryl. And we are Garnet Rose Stitchers. Okay. It's better. Yeah. See, we're, we're professionals. We sat up, we sat up really fast today. So it was kind of a panic but yeah. we're like let's do this okay anyway okay so, but here we are so thank you to all the new subscribers from last video um the last video we had was um about our stitch west recap and so we had a lot of new subscribers from that so that's pretty cool yeah. we're over 900 now so maybe we could get to a thousand by the new year and then maybe like a giveaway that's like a little bigger you know because we have let's talk about giveaways real quick um we had two bundles from Screen Door Needleworks last video because um, we met her at Stitch West. And she that was, was awesome. Yeah, it was so awesome. And she was so generous and gave us some charts. So um, we um, we gave some away. We gave away two bundles and I pulled the winners for that. So the Give Thanks bundle went to Megan Maybon 8994 And that's funny because she's our friend. So we can just, <laughs> we'll hand it off to you. Mm -hmm. And then the other person um, was won the North Pole bundle, and that's LL King 50. So if you guys could please, um, well, not Megan, because, <laughs> but if LL King could please email us, our email's in the description box below, mm -hmm. to let us know your real name and your address and all that jazzy stuff so we can Just get it. Your price. Yeah, so we can mail it out. And then we'll do that in the interim. Okay. Um, and we can talk about these when I talk about this. That sounds good. Okay. So this video, we're going to talk about whips, previous, previous finishes, whips. And plans. then some plans for next year. Yeah. I'm a hot mess. I don't know about you guys, but I've tried so hard to get organized this year and I just failed. Epic. Yeah. Epic. I think I have too many irons in the fire yes. and I'm just doing too many things. Yes. And so I, I'll get started and I'll get super going Motivated. on it and then it falls apart. Yeah. So I'm hoping. To... I have a theory about that. I have a theory about, cause I do the same thing. So we'll talk more about that when we get to plans mm -hmm. because I mean. So if you're struggling, then maybe this will help. Yeah. Like and maybe you can adapt what we're doing. We're mm -hmm. also going to talk about a sal that we're going to start in 2024 so if you want to join in that fun times, mm -hmm. and this isn't one. going to be like the bright star cell where I didn't finish it. It's going to be a long-term cell. So this is a BAP. Okay. It's a, a sneak peek as a hawk run hollow. Okay. So, <laughs> but we'll talk more about that when we talk about plants. Okay. <clears throat> so previous finish, I guess. Okay. Do you want to do yours? No, but no, go. that's your plans, right? I can show it, but that's okay. I only have one previous finish. Okay, so this is how lame I am. <laughs> I start things, right? <laughs> I'm 25%, okay? 75%, 25%. I don't finish things. So <laughs> when I do, it's a Christmas miracle. And in this case, it was a turkey miracle. Okay, so this <gasps> is... Okay, so this particular chart, I don't ha I can't find the chart. But it is a PDF that you get off Etsy. So this is my book of um, cross stitch PDFs. Oh, oh wow. yeah, I forgot about that one. <laughs> I need to do this. Oops, okay, so but squirrel. <laughs> so this is 100% because of Olivia at Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. She mentioned this designer on Etsy a few years ago and I was like, <laughs> pause, went over and bought stuff and then I started immediately and I pulled 100% from Stash. So yeah, but the person I'm talking about is Country Rustic Primitives on Etsy. Um, and so if you just search Country Rustic Primitives, um, 
on Etsy, then her stuff will pop up. And these are two of the other charts that I bought at the same time. This one's a Valentine's chart. It says, what is this called? I give my heart to V, Valentine pillow tuck. Cute. Freaking adored. Okay, so that's that one. And then this one's a Christmas one. It's all called Aww. Sleigh Bells. Cute. Primitive Sleigh Bells Cupboard Keep. That's what she calls I love that. Yeah, so they're, she's 100% on Etsy. Like, I don't think she has another avenue of purchase. So she I highly... Just PDFs? Yeah, I okay. highly recommend, though, that you go and check it out because um, I revisited, because I hadn't been on there, because, you know, squirrel, right? <laughs> I'm trying not to buy all the things because that's ridiculous. But then, you know, I inevitably fail. But I went on there because sometimes I just go on the Etsy and then I want to just spend hours on the Etsy. And mm -hmm. then I'm on the Etsy and I'm like wanting to buy all the things. All the things. So I went on her thing again just to like remind myself of all the charts that she had. And I was like, oh. She has new stuff. From the last time I was on there, I was like, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to need that. Um, I don't know what this particular chart is called. I'm assuming it's, it's like called... give thanks, I think is what it's called, but this is my finish. So, oh, that's so cute. So Carol. this is the chart I use leftover like gentle arts and weeks and like random threads that I had. I don't even know. And then I know this, this is a 32 count maybe. Cute. I don't know. 32 count, weak style works, straw. Where'd you get the? Okay, this is from Dollar Tree. Nice. And it's like this horrible, like, I mean, you see. <laughs> like this, half painted? It's, no, this was not even painted. It was a raw. Oh, like oh, you painted it. I painted this with this, like, shimmery, like, um, coppery paint. Cute. And... Did your hubby add the nails and everything on Oh, no, that? I did this myself. Wow. Mm-hmm. Impressed here. Oh, wait, did he do that? Maybe I made him do that part because I was gonna, I was afraid. I don't remember. Either way. Either that or I just stuck it on the side of the, um, the table and I just drilled. I think that's what I did. And then he's like, is that what you're doing? I'm like, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> it was on my dining room table, too. <laughs> It was fine. I did. I made sure that the drill there's would go a, off the side. Only a few holes in the table. No, there's none. <laughs> there's none. It survived. So this is uh, my previous finish. So um, that is really cute. I had this as a whip for a really long time. My finish is not the best, but I don't care. It's not even. Oh, but are you kidding? It's I, I don't even care. It has a freaking turkey lurkey on it, and you'll see a theme. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I have themes. It's called turkeys. <laughs> By the way, speaking of turkeys. Um, you all need to go over to Lila Studios Instagram and look at um, it, the uh, first images of like a tree, like an apple tree, and keep scrolling. And she oh. has her sneaky peeky of the Autumn Quaker. Mm -hmm. I almost died. Almost died. It's just, and there's it's a, a little teaser. And it's a turkey. And it talks about how it's like till his last days. So we know she's talking about the turkey. Poor turkey. He's getting it, you know. He's not getting parted, okay? <laughs> so yeah, that's no my, presidential pardon, no. not turkey. <laughs> no. So that's my okay. So that's my previous finish. Love it. Um, Love it so much. Yes, and then you're doing your previous finish later, right? To talk about your plans. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, so I have whips. nothing new finished currently. Okay. Me either. So, Do yeah. I? I have a couple of no. new starts. Okay. I have a couple of new starts. Do you have new starts? I have whips. Yeah. Whips ish. So I don't have, okay, normally I'm the whip queen and I have all the whips and I, no quilting today. Ah. Because some of it I can't show yet. Oh, right. right. So it's like for stuff that's coming out next year and I was able to get sample yardage for the shop and so I can't show it. That's okay. But it's Hey Boo by Leo Boutique. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. It's really cute. I've seen it and it's super cute. Yeah. Um, all right. But I do have whips okay awesome go do you have a whip uh, yeah i have a couple i, have a I couple. probably have less than you I so you couple. do one a lot of this too do this one do that one okay all right i'll tell you so i have a couple of new starts one of them um is that i started the um satsuma street mystery stitch along uh winter woods 
this was uh, clue number one. Clue number two came out e Friday. Friday. And so I have it downloaded. I just haven't printed it yet. It's so. a fox. It's a fox. It's and so it's cute. really cute. But this one is really, really cute. And I have to say, I frogged it a couple of times just because... Was it making you mad? Yeah, I got a little frustrated. Um, oh, that's cute. But yeah, I got it started. And so I have the trees. I love the I way the that looks. Order and... Um, this is on her called for fabric. It is, hold on, uh, 32 count um, blue spruce linen. So I'm not trying to like make trouble for you. But? But wouldn't this be freaking adorable if you put beads there? So it's funny that you say that because I already have plans to add beads. Hey okay. guys. Because I have to, because I'm extra. And because a lot of her ornaments have beads and little sequins yeah. and stuff in it. And I'm like, I love that. And I'm also adding in acrylic. So I'm going to put in, so <laughs> I totally blocked your face. You always do. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, here, there. <laughs> it's hard to know where to look. It's fine. Sorry. Anyways, so I'm adding in a acrylic um, braid to the snow to make it sparkly. You know what's hilarious is because that I'm you have a needle can. minder, but you don't put the needle on it. Um, is there a reason? Is that how you store it? No, normally it's on. Cross stitch oh. police can go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. actually, I think I, you know why I do that mm -hmm. is because when I put it away, I'm worried that as I'm folding, oh, that, that the needle's going to get caught and pull off of the needle minder, and then you lose the needle. Exactly. And so when I'm finished stitching, that's why my kids find needles everywhere. I tuck then. it on the fabric. So anyway, but I'm loving the stitch. Um, I changed a couple of the colors because they just didn't work on this fabric. Mm -hmm. And so I swapped out a couple colors, hence the frogging. Oh. But the border worked. Yeah, so that was really cute. That. It looks like Aurora Borealis colors. Yeah. And the next one with the fox, it's I can't so wait cute. to start it. I love and it. And then Laura was saying that maybe it might be a bunny. Yeah, we were talking like we were, about... Like, what's the next creature? Kind of a theme of animals yeah. each, you know, so... They have these little squares, and so here's the polar bear, and then the next one, I should have printed it. It's cool. So but I yeah. can insert a picture. I'll insert awesome. a picture. Yeah. Insert picture. Yeah, you can just send it to me later. So, like yeah. A picture of it. But, yeah, this is a, um, it's a chart that you can buy off of her, um. Etsy. Web website. Her website, yeah. Also her Etsy. Yeah, I think you can get you it can from do her both. Etsy shop, too, but she's got a, a website. Go to her website, because she gets actually more money. And she gets more of her cut that way. Yes, exactly. Because Etsy's fees. So, and I love it. So, okay, next. Okay, so this is kind of a plan. So last time I... <laughs> We're so organized. <laughs> now everything's falling out of the bag because I put too much stuff in this bag. <laughs> so, um, it's the tag for the fabric. Okay, so last time I showed you... Not, it's not this, but... So this is extra fabric... That is R and R thirty two count vintage be beeswax. Okay, Same color. Yeah. So remember how I finished my stockings, my Halloween stockings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's everything's falling. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. So remember how I said I wanted to stitch them all on the same fabric. Well, hey, guess what? Getting R and R is kind of hard. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm stingy, and originally when I placed these two stockings. It was because they were in a Q-snap. But guess what? I can't fit another one right here. And oh. I can maybe even fit one right here. Because you cut them out? If I, Because you cut them out and you make them into stockings. And this is actually smaller. These are This is a smaller count than it's called for. So it's smaller than the actual template of the stocking. Oh. So if I use the template of the stocking and I trace it onto the fabric according to the orientation I need it to mm -hmm. be, then I can fit them all. And then this is the other part of the fabric. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is the other part of the fabric. And I can literally use the template and trace them all on. So I know where they're going to ah, go. So spatially, you know where they all go. Yes. That's and great. And then, um, because I want them to all be the same. Because I yeah, do. And on the same fabric. Yeah. That and I sense. want, yeah. How I many, want, are there 12? There's 13. There's 13. Yes. Okay. And I finished two. I am, I know. Hey, you know. It's fine. two less. But what you have to do now. I also picked ones that had lots of colors to start. Oh, some of them are a little bit more. So this one, a little less, um, I should say less. Oh, this is out of Tis Halloween. Mm -hmm. So I haven't started these yet, but it was like plans of and working in my mind how I'm gonna get these going. Um, but this is Deadly Nightshade. 
that's one of the next ones I'm going to do. My husband picked that one. And then. Oh, I love this. One. My youngest picked this one. Candy corn. Mm -hmm. He can't eat candy corn, but he knows what it is. Mm -hmm. And he thinks it's the best. And I'm like. Okay. Well, and they're fun anyway. Yeah. he. I, I mean, I love candy corn. I just don't want to eat them. They're so sweet. No, no uh, offense to those, but they belong in the trash. Oh. <gasps> Unless they're cute decorations. And then this is the one that my middle <laughs> picked because he liked the house and oh, he liked the too. crow and he thought that the pumpkin, because it's like a checkerboard pumpkin. Mm -hmm. That's a like, cute one. He's like, I like that one, Mom. That one's good. I'm like, all right, dude, I'll do that. That's a good one. I mean, my kids know what's up, okay? They're they around a maker. Mm -hmm. They so, do. They do indeed. So I have all the threads and all the things for that. You hear crinkles because there's stuff in here. There's lots and lots of stuff. Speaking of candy corn. Yes, I know. <laughs> so this bag is actually from Sherry. Oh, she yeah. did a, that's cute. Yeah, so she made this for me because she knows I love Halloween. And so she picked out, I think I've showed this bag before. Yeah. But um, inside has like the tomatoes that look like pumpkins. Oh, I love that. Yeah, and this is the bag that I take everywhere. So this bag has been to market twice. Nice. Well, it's um, big. And it's, yeah, it's been on vacation. Because I can okay. fit all the things in there. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, so that is a, a plan, sort of, kind of whip, even though it's not a whip. So <laughs> We don't have any new ones in process. No, but I have plans to start them all. Okay. Because I have all the threads and everything. I bought all the threads at one time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. This one is a kit by Lindy Stitches called Shredding Tom. It was a... Oh, my it was the kit. It was an exclusive at market in 2018, 2019. I don't remember. Sorry. Oops. There you go. So she has another one from last year, doesn't she? She always does a kit every mm -hmm. market. She has some exclusive kit mm -hmm. and it usually has a lady dot something in it. Um, this one had both chenille. No. Yeah. Chenille. Um, what is that called? What, is it, what are these? Oh, the pom-poms. The pom-poms. And then she also made these exclusive pins Cute. to go in it. And then it, see, it sticks out the back of his little oh, thing. So it looks those like his little feathers. Yeah. So, so I cute. bought this at the time from Gulf Coast Stitches. Mm -hmm. That sounds right. I think that's, I don't know. I can't remember. Um, and so I bought that from her. And this is... So when I started this, this is the fabric you get. So I stitched this in hand, which this is Lugana, like mm -hmm. 25 or 28 count. I don't know. It's like 28 count. Yeah. And um, so when I Cute. picked this back up, this whole half right here of the checkerboard was not there. So I did all of the rest of this checkerboard and then I started the blue fill in. Cute. Yeah. So I love. Um, I actually like doing checkerboard. Yeah, so. it was fun, and I didn't mess up, so I didn't <laughs> have to frog. Good. That's so, good. Um, you know, event. I'm hoping that I can work on this um, in November to try and like get more progress on it because mm -hmm. it's not big. It's like no. it's just a lot of stitching. It's dense stitching. So that's true. Yeah, your turn. My turn. Yeah. Okay. So real <laughs> quick. <laughs> So this is, I forgot another finish. It was hiding in my, so I made, I ha had a class where I made these folded star ornaments. So. I love um, those. Yeah. So this those is. Those are really, really cute. And they're. They're fun to make. They're fairly simple once you get the. Hang of it. Yeah. It's like origami. Yes. <laughs> with yes. fabric. Yeah. So, so. Um, this is, this was a free pattern on Moda's website. Uh, for folded star ornament. Mm -hmm. You can also check other places. I'm sure they have it like on Pinterest or whatever. But if you've like, got scraps and you want to make some really nice. Well, like this one, you, like gifts. this size, like the smallest size strips width wise that you should work with is three and a half inches. Because mm -hmm. if you go any smaller than that, this is going to be kind of hard to fold. Yeah. Because it's, it's fabric. But anyway, so. But yeah, that turned out really I did too. that. Love that. I did that. Okay. All right. Okay. So you want to show whip? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm still working on. Um, You're still further than me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still working on these um, from Satsuma Street. So she started a series um, three years ago. Something. Of um, the 12 Days of Christmas, and every year she releases a new one. The so, next one's supposed to, she said, November. 
So hopefully, hopefully soon she's yeah. up to three, which is um. So the fourth one, four French calling hens, birds. which is hold on. Okay, here's, Adorbs. Here's the French hen. It's a French, you know. <laughs> 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 so there's that one, and so I am working on the turtle doves, and I've got it almost finished. Whenever I think of like French like, you know, French hens or French anything. There. I think of, like, Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast. Oh, yes, yes. And, like, Cogsworth. If it isn't Baroque, don't fix it. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got it almost done. I just have to finish the birds. That's really cute. And this little bit of the heart. Are you beating as you go? I'm beating as I go. Um, I think it says to do that, and I always am dumb and forget. Like, yeah. do you bead using the thread that it that is yes, around it? I usually do. And I've been doing that for years. So, even my Mirabilia's... Oh, okay. I depending upon where they are. Yeah. So I have some um, that I've done where the beads are really spread out, and so you don't want your threads to show. So I use that awful like wonder invisible filament, thread, like filament. It's like a filament thread. It's actually like it looks like YLI. Yes, it's the YL. It's the wonder and in, wonder invisible thread or whatever. It's like a plastic. It's, it's like a like filament. Line. It's like fill. It's a filament thread. It's like oh, it's plastic. Yeah, but you. It looks like you're stitching with hair. So because it's so and you thin. can't feel it either when you're holding. The, you, it feels like you're just holding. You can't feel it. Yeah, on it's your hand. oh man, it's hard to work with, but it makes a nice effect because then the beads kind of look like they're floating. But with with this kind of stuff, I usually just use the, the thread. It's, I mean heirloom piece, but not really. Yeah. Right. So anyway, but yeah. And so this will be number two, and I my um, husband bought me at Costco. Um, a three foot tree. Is that what that was? That's yeah. Are you going to put those So on that's it? what that's going to, so I have a theme going on that tree is going to be my 12 days of Christmas tree. I'm so excited. And so I've got this series and I've got another one that I'll the, show. Is it the one that you're changing to be the other colors? Yes. Yay. Mm -hmm. Show it. Let's see. Show it. All right. We'll show it. So let's see the Christmas. So here's the other one. She already has her tree up. I'm so excited. <laughs> I wish I could have my tree up already. So my, my sister-in-law and my brother Every year, the day, usually the day after Halloween, mm -hmm. they put their Christmas tree up. And so it is up through November. Yeah. And so I think they... Till like the second week of, the, of January. Sometimes, yeah. Usually through like then. the, whatever, epiphany. Mm -hmm, through the epiphany. And then they'll take it down. Yeah. But um, it's up for months. Yeah. Which is awesome. And so this year, we got a new tree because the cats destroyed the old one. <laughs> it was old anyway. But <laughs> Oh my gosh, that'll anyway. totally go into... Yeah. Mm hmm uh, yeah that's very fitting. okay that's okay. so anyway so I'm working on this series right here it's the 12 days of Christmas and it is from cross stitcher magazine and this was um, from December of last year um, issue number 390 and so it's a whole it's a whole series of the 12 days of Christmas and I'll show you a couple yeah um, I remember when you showed this and I was kind of jolly so anyway so here's one of the pages of the little ornaments and so they're super cute and I think I showed this one already you have but I mean let's um, see it again but yeah so I've got, you're, you're changing the colors on this one right to be a little less yeah I changed them out um to be kind of more pioneer woman <laughs> yeah well okay so they're bright this is a hot mess of this is lost, old but, but it, this is one of her old tumblers and this is one of the things that Jeanette and I share in common is pioneer woman so yeah, and I yeah, there's a theme. But anyway, so here's the partridge. Oh, you finished that already. So that one's done. Was that one done already? Uh huh. What? So that one's the partridge. Oh, it's so wee. And what is this? Twenty count? Yeah, this is twenty count Ada. It's just white opalescent. Oh, these are that's so the calling cute, bird. Jeanette. I'm gonna need your. Oh wait, not calling bird. Uh, turtle dove. Turtle. Sorry, that's the turtle dove. There's the turtle dove. Oh, it's a little blurry. It's okay. A turtle dove, and then here's the French hen. So that one's all done. So they finish really wee. <laughs> I love it. They're super cute. And then I started. Um, oh, she's so cute. The calling bird, which doesn't look like much yet, but they're super tiny. So it, I don't know if you can tell from the the camera I love angle. It looks it, like folky. Yes. Yeah. And so I just swapped out some of the colors. So this is one of my goals this year, is to get at least half of them done and on the tree. But along with all of my other projects, it's taking a lot longer than I expected. But that will go on the tree with the other, yeah. um, the other series. So there's that one. So um, while I was formulating my plans for 
next year I decided to go through all of my stash and my whips and guess what? <laughs> I found a whip. Oh, <laughs> I did too. Mm -hmm. So this is on Monaco. So this is now my oldest whip because remember how I finished that other one that was on Monaco, the haunted house one? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, so that was my oldest whip and then I finished it. And then I found have this one. one that is also on Monaco, but yeah, I dyed it black. Ooh. So it is like 40 count. Oh my gosh. Because it shrinks so much. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So what this is, is hands-on design slash Priscilla Blaine Queen Bee Flower Farm. Cute. So Priscilla finished hers on like a Hobby Lobby sign that is a like, um, laundry it's like a laundry oh, sign it's got a yes. shelf mm -hmm. so I bought that and it's been sitting in my laundry room because that's where I keep some of my finishing things it's been in there since I started this I since one, before I, I started too, this. and it's in the garage literally yeah. it's been sitting Terrible. there and it, because I want to finish it exactly like that because Priscilla Blaine she knows how to finish mm -hmm. if you like bows and all the cute extra things which I do yes so yes. Um, I you dyed it yourself. Oh my I, gosh, you're so far already. I know. So I was oh, planning so to cute. UFO this and just stop where I was mm -hmm. and just frame this. So this is where I'm at. Okay, so cute. So I dyed it. This is 28 count Monaco that, that I great. dyed myself. Wow, it looks really good. Um, it looks really, really and good. I could see. So I've worked on this. Um, a little bit because my husband was like, can I see how much you have done? Because I'm like, what do I do with this? You know, mm -hmm. I don't want to, I don't want to like pass the stash because this is not my, it. this isn't my best work. I was like, should I restart it? Cause it's on Monaco. I don't really want to stitch on Monaco. Mm. But then my husband's like, let's see how much you got. So I show him the, the picture. Mm -hmm. Right. And then I show him this. He's like, just finish it. Finish it. <laughs> and I'm like, but then I have to also do the the sign as well. And he's like, <laughs> finish it. Just finish it. And I'm like, okay. Like, so I, I mean, I could tell this is old because I'm using t 26 needles on oh. this. Because I preloaded all my colors. Look and at had you. You're so smart. Then I, yeah. So, when, but once I found with using, doing the other stitch mm -hmm. the one that's the haunted ha the haunted mansion one mm -hmm. um that if i switch my needle to a 28 no yeah 28 needle um that was a bow in 28 mm -hmm. that really helped me get through the fabric because all of my i don't stitch on plain monaco like my all of my monaco has been heat treated in the sense that it's either coffee tea dyed where oh. i literally put it into a vat mm -hmm. of coffee or I, and then I bake it in an oven. Okay. <laughs> it I really it, shrinks. I do it the Priscilla way. Okay. Yeah. It shrinks. Because. Yes. You yeah, know. <laughs> okay. So, um, or I dyed it with Rit dye in a heat process. Mm -hmm. So it, sh and that, and when you use dark dye, it shrinks it like. It makes those holes crazy, so tiny. Like crazy. So I have to work on this in really good lighting. Mm -hmm. Um, I have to make sure all the lights are on in the house so I can see because you can't even having something underneath me does nothing because this is so tiny the holes are so dense the, yeah they're yeah. so dense and they're so it's I'm like but you know what I was like all right I'm gonna do it and I then, have some I can only work on in the day yeah like even the lights that I have and I have you know a, a, two stitching lamps and then my kids complain like mom can you turn the lights off but this is uh but this is, you know, it's this really is cute. one Look of at the, all those little animals. Yeah. And so this cute. is one of the things that this was the first Priscilla chart I ever bought. And I, <laughs> I'm crazy. Yeah, so, okay. but I we also, done. I learned a, a lot about myself while stitching this that I don't really like stitching on black fabric that much. So this is going to be a labor, but okay. it is now on my whip list. Well, maybe you put it, um, and you'll you just see. work on it a little bit. Oh, you'll, you'll see how that's going to go. See how that's going to go. All right. In my plants. So that bag's done now. Yay. Yay. 
You got another whippy poo? Um, yeah, I have one more whip that's not part, well, I guess it's part of my plans. It's one that I found, and okay. so I'm going to add it into my plans okay. because it needs to get finished. So, um, is that like her secret one? It was, it was. Um, so this was a Lizzie Kate mystery sampler. I can't show that part. Hold on. There's this right here. Hold on. I have to grab it. I grabbed the wrong part. Okay. So this was a mystery oh. sampler and it's called Spirit of Christmas. Oh my heck. This was from a handful of years ago. So, um, it's called Spirit of Christmas. It's old. You can probably still get it and you on can still get it. Stitch. Mm -hmm. So she retired. And, um, so now you can get her charts from one, two, three stitch. I think it's the only place that you can find. So this is what it looks like when it's all done, but you have to get all three to mm -hmm. be able to complete it. Yeah, it was a mystery stitch. And so the way that she had it all laid out. Okay, you have marching orders. I know. So this is on my <laughs> list. <laughs> this is on my list to finish. Oh, it's so cute, Jeanette. Because it's really cute. I love cute. the colors. Yeah, the colors. It's so you. It is. It is. So. Did you add beads? I did. <laughs> I, the bead queen I, I like beads it's okay <laughs> it just gives a character i'm anyway. the bat queen you're Whoop. the bead queen hold on you're i'm back you're you're a bead there you go oh it's because i have a needle miner on there there we go it was heavy so that's how far i've gotten so i'm probably i don't know a little over halfway i support it and i was clearing out my um my whips and what I wanted to do for next year. And I'm like, are you going to do, are you going to add the buttons? Oh my word. Yes. I have the button pack. Okay. The button pack is in here. Um, oh, it's cute Jeanette. And I did add a few extra beads. Um, it came. So what fabric is this? It heritage? is, um, hold on. It is heritage. I think it's 32 count heritage. It, oh, I saw a thing. It's heartland. Oh, heartland. So PTP heartland 32 count. There you go. Because this is before you met me. Oh. And then you turned into a 36 person. This one, mm -hmm. this is the chart that introduced the color Heartland from Picture This Plus. Oh. And so a handful of years ago, PTP did an exclusive color of fabric for this chart specifically. And people liked the fabric so much that they added it into their regular. Well, because it's a fabulous color. Dying line. And like I, if we had this for... I think we've had it in the store. Before. We have, but it's, you know, um, it takes 18 months to get an order from them. But it's, it's one of so. my favorite fabrics because it's so versatile. It goes with everything. And so it did come with this, um, oh, look at her stitches. Came with the button pack. Her stitches are so nice. Oh, you know what? I stand corrected. Adding the beads was not my idea this time. It actually came in a little. Oh, it's, it's charted. It's charted. My fault. I tell you, that's how long it's been since I've worked on it. So anyway, but this is on my list of things to finish. Came with these cute little buttons and the needle minder. Cute. Um, so when I ordered it, it came all together. Now, I don't know if you can still get it that way. I'm pretty sure that you can. Just um, check one, two, three stitch and search mm -hmm. Spirit of Christmas. Spirit of Christmas. It was a mystery style. There's three parts. And this was several years ago, like a number of years ago. Do you have any more whips besides, um, so, but that's on my list also. Do you have any more whips besides this one? Nothing that isn't part of my plans, plans? for next year. Okay. Yep. So, um, our, our little group, we're calling ourselves Fellowship of the Needle. I almost wore my t-shirt today too. I almost did too, but <laughs> I, you wouldn't see it. So I was like, well, I, next time. I'll wait. I'll, I needed to wear a sweatshirt cause it's cold. So yeah, we have a, a, a little group of four that, is kind of growing, which is pretty we're awesome. Gro we're growing, we're growing um, people. And we call ourselves the Fellowship of the Needle, which is really awesome. Because we all like Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, those of you who have been wanting to know what my stitch was for Stitch West that I wasn't able to finish, I'll show that in the next video. Okay. I forgot to bring it. Um, I want to I'll, see I'll it. show all the details Yay. of that. So you'll get to see it. So. Okay, so we decided to um, start because, again, I was I'll going through all of my whips. I was going through my whips, and I was going through, Are you pulling your ch your chart out? Yes. Is that what you said? Yes. Okay. Um, I was going through all my charts, going through all my kits, because um, no judgment for what I'm about to say. <laughs> I have 27 fully kitted projects. Wow. That includes Dimensions kits you know, Satsuma kits, um, Mill Hill kits, or things that I literally went, 
purchase fabric and threads and the chart and it's sitting in a bag mm -hmm. just sitting there going stitch me mm -hmm. i should count mine okay it's so, embarrassing so i will count mine for next time because yeah. i probably have you beat probably but it's okay you have you've been stitching longer so yeah, well, and then she always finds more charts because she'll buy things twice and then she gives it to me and i'm like well cool now i got it we got to start a sal now <laughs> So anyways, we decided that we were going to start Winter Rose Manor because I've had this kitted since it was re-released. So Winter Rose Manor by Brenda Gervais was a retreat piece that was for some retreat. I don't remember which one. And it was originally stitched on dirty linen that I think is a discontinued color or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So it was re-released in 2018. Mm -hmm. No, it was originally released in 2018. And then it was re-released in 2020. 21 2020 I think like a couple years ago 2020 2021 something like that anyways um well I kitted it up fully then and because we actually had I found out that there was going to be so this is why it's the perk of being the orderer and getting all the emails from people is I found out that we were we would be able to get Brenda's brew which is what was the new called for color in the release re-release of Winter Rose Manor so I went ahead and ordered fabric for that and I Yay. purchased some and it's been sitting in my stash for <laughs> two years. So I'm stitching this on 36 count Brenda's Brew by R&R, &R, which is the called for linen. This is what I have done so far. Yay. Um, so, sorry, I have a thread going. I had time this morning, so I was able to stitch. So I started here went all the way down all the way up and then started the diamonds and then now I'm working the diamonds coming back this direction but I wanted to start on this vine to make sure it would meet because that's the end of the diamond before I continue on and then have to frog uh -huh. so I have to make sure that it's going to meet <laughs> but what I've been doing is I, before I get too far is I will stop and recount myself mm -hmm. to figure out if I've and so far I've I've figured out any mistakes I had before I went too far so I was able to frog out 10 stitches or whatever and not have to like completely rip out an entire border yeah you know what I mean because that's the worst especially when you spent that much time the yeah. borders are not small um this is also super wrinkled because I normally I have a I have a lap stand an Elon lap stand by Artisan Designs and um I decided I was going to stitch this in hand because the mo the motion of doing the needlework in hand, because I do in hand sewing method, not poke and stab. Mm. So I do the sewing method, and I was like, you know what? If Carol Saltbox Stitcher can do that, I can do that. Mm -hmm. And if Christy Crosshatch Quilts can do that in hand, I can do that mm -hmm. in hand. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm a quilter first, so the motion of doing it is natural because that's how you bind quilts. It's true. Um, you know, and when I quilt quilts, I don't quilt them in a hoop. No, that's so, true like too. when I hand quilt them. Yeah. That's so true. anyway, which I haven't done in a long time, but anyway, so that's, that's mine right awesome. now. So you want to do yours yep, now? Yep, I sure do. Thank you. So let's see. So we don't have a hashtag or anything for this stitch along. It's more of a start along. Um, you know, and if you want to start along with us, just tag Jeanette and I, um, mm -hmm. our handles are below so that we can see your progress. And yeah, and if you're already can, working on it, yeah, join in with use us. Use the hashtag. Um, maybe it'll motivate you if you kind of yeah. lost your mojo. But we don't really have a hashtag. So, so if maybe. you want to just share or just like tag us. Yeah, just tag us. In the picture. So um, I'm using Nantucket Brew, 36 count Nantucket Brew, and I got my whole border done. I know. I and was, it matched. And it matched, and I was so excited. And then I started up in that top left-hand corner. There's a little... Um, it's a motif. Yeah, it's a little motif. What the heck did I do with my... You put it away, probably. I said it somewhere. Here, I'll it's get mine safe out. Place. Here. Oh, okay. Anyway, so I, I'm i changing out a couple of my colors. Um. <laughs> okay, would it even be a pattern if she didn't change a color? Probably not. No. But we kind of had to. That's right. I changed colors too. Yeah. So we, um, it's my, kind of a vulgar reason. Oh, I changed a different color for, for oh. something different. Oh, okay. I, I, okay. So long story short, 
my great grandmother uh, lived in Illinois and she loved red birds, cardinals mm -hmm. was her favorite thing. And so when I was growing up, I always remembered her because of how much she loved red birds. We're living in California, obviously we don't have we cardinals. Don't have, yeah. And I've literally never seen one in real life because I've always lived on the West Coast and we don't have cardinals out here. But Well, we don't live in California anymore. No, we don't live in she California. She used to, anymore. but she's been in Idaho for a really long a time. A really long time. But we still don't have red birds. But I love cardinals on everything. So winter time is all about the red birds. And um so yeah, that was a long tangent, but <laughs> So I decided I wanted my cardinals to be a little bit more red, I guess. The call for color is a little more like a burnt orange. It's like a dark burnt orange. And so I just changed out my my colors. And so I switched out for manor red so that my cardinals are more red. A little bit more red. What I love about this is that it has a male and a female cardinal. It does. Like, and if you don't, because the picture is a good picture, but like if you don't really look at it, mm -hmm. you're like, oh. That's actually another bird right there, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, there's um, two birds in there. But I I should probably talk about the color changes that I did too. So, so you go ahead and are you done talking about your color changes? Well, just, yeah, yeah. And so I just wanted them to be a little bit more red than orange. And so I switched out the red bird. So the called for color for the white is roasted mar marshmallow. Yo, that, that That's yellow. And it's for the snow. Wh where we live, it snows. And where we live, if there is yellow snow, you don't touch that. <laughs> it's either dirty or... Or it's got pee in it. <laughs> Sorry, that was gross. But, like, that's true, right? So, I cannot stitch yellow snow. So, this is also, I think, in the basket. Mm -hmm. So, this will be my basket colors. But then I switched out for the snow. I snitch, I snitched out. I switched out for antique lace. Because that's, right. that's what worked really well on my fabric choice. Mm -hmm. But, like, for you, you switched out for a different color. I think I'm doing grits. Yeah. For, I don't I'm remember. I'm doing weak star works. What was this one? No, it was, like, to, it was toasted marshmallow. No. No, it was... I think I, sw I did antique lace, but um, I think I ended up... I changed to grits. So, I bought, I bought it. That's antique lace. So, I changed my mind. Oh. Because I can't okay. just not... Yeah. Leave it alone. It's fine. <laughs> well, you, and when you get to that part of the stitch, then you can make the real choice. Because yes. you can stitch it a few stitches and be like, oh, I, I don't really like that. Exactly. Or whatever. So I'll probably change it back. So that is something that I've been working on literally all week long. We started it Sunday, last, so a week ago today. Mm -hmm. And because today is Sunday. Um, when you see this, it's probably going to be Monday or Tuesday. But you get my, my meaning, but I've been working on it every day, except for yesterday. I didn't, I didn't stitch last night because I worked a long day. Yeah. I love, I love working on it. It's awesome. And I, I, um, actually this project in, inspired me. Yeah. I don't know if it's called inspiring. So 36 count. I'm one, I'm one of those people that sometimes I do two, two over two mm. because I like the coverage. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes like normally, um, you'll do just one thread over two mm -hmm. for 36 count. Mm -hmm. This one, I went back to the one thread. Yeah. I'm stitching one thread over two. And I'm working on another project that I'm actually going to completely frog and start over. Stop it. Because I don't, I wanted mine to look prim. Yeah. And so, so I'm liking I'm how that. this looks a lot better for this. Like I've done ornaments where um, it's on 36 count and you want that kind dense. of look how it dense and puffy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But for this kind of project, I didn't, I started it with two and then I went back to one and I have another project that I'm going to completely start. And I have quite a bit of it done, but don't do that. Don't do that. But see, it's, I don't want to, otherwise it's going to go in a drawer and I'll never pull, pull it out. Is again. it not, is it not fun to work on anymore? Mm -hmm. Enjoy the stitch, right? That's why I like the whole, like, queen bee flower farm mm -hmm. i'm tempted to stop where i'm at frame it as it is and start over i was going to suggest that to just get that little piece done and, and have just like frame little... it and or put it somewhere like give it as a gift something mm -hmm. have it as a small something like that because i the thing is is i love my fabric mm -hmm. i love the color like that was a christmas miracle um mad scientist like crazy <laughs> moment happening like it's alive! Like, that was me in my... I Because I did it in my microwave. Don't try it at home. <laughs> I've never heard of that. Yeah. I've I've heard of people lighting them on fire in the oven. 
because they have oh. the temp on too high. Yeah, no, you do that at like 200, yeah, 200 225. And you got to watch max. it. But I Oh, I've made my I've made my Monaco crispy before. Where it's <laughs> I like I have burnt on some of my too when I was first learning. Yeah. Left it in too long. Um I didn't leave it in too long. I just I think I didn't it wasn't wet enough or something. Oh, if it's yeah, yeah. that's true. If it's too dry, it'll yeah. anyway. Oh boy, howdy. So, yeah. Okay. I'll talk about that other project later because I'm actually kind of sad about it. Okay. But we'll talk. I'm bummed, but what are you going to do? Okay. So let's talk about this real quick. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Dirty Annie's Southern Style is, um, I, her name's Annie Craft. That's her name. Um, and you should follow her on her Instagram. It's Dirty Annie's X on Instagram. And she is a super sweet person. Mm -hmm. She's a talented, talented, talented designer. Um, if you're not aware of who she is, just go onto her Instagram or even just go to her website. I'm going to put it along the bottom here. And it will be linked down below in the Instagram. Mm -hmm. No, in the description box. <laughs> um, but she is so generous to us um, because she has offered us a discount code that we can then share with you. Mm-hmm. And the discount code will give us a small percentage back to us that we will then pour into the channel and do more giveaways with. That's mm -hmm. really what the where the money is going to go. Um, so we have a discount code that she's provided us. It is Garnet10. So G-A-R-N-E-T 10. Um, and so that will also be in the de description box. So if you go to her website... You can buy any of her charts. It doesn't matter if they're new, old, whatever. It could be any charts in any quantity. And you can buy them and um, use that coupon code and then you get 10% off. That's so awesome. That's really cool. And she, so we're basically an affiliate with her, but um, I'm cool with that. So, <laughs> and then it's a way for you guys to save money if you guys like her charts and it's also support her too to support her yeah. and then it's also a way to support our channel as well because any kickback we get which would only be like 10 percent of the purchase would go back into this mm -hmm. i'm being transparent as i possibly can with this you know so that you understand that we're not like grabbing you know <laughs> so if you're interested go to her website and buy all the things she actually she also sent us um some giveaways yes so we're gonna do two bundles like we did last time. Mm -hmm. And they're Christmas themed. Of course. Because yeah. What did I do with it? You want it? me to do one? Here it is. Nope, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. Oh yeah, we didn't do that yet. Never mind. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so we have two here. We have two bundles. Cause she was generous and sent us eight different charts. Some it's a mixture of brand new charts and a mixture of older charts from like last year. And there's one that's a little older, the, the tree. I don't remember. Some of them are, are, are older ones, but some of them are like brand new, mm -hmm. just came out. Okay. So we're going to have the first bundle. You're going to say the word dog, D-O-G, in your comment. And th these are the charts you're going to get. So this is, oh, is this one now? I don't remember that's from Mark last, last year. Last year. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's Felice, not Naughty Dog. <laughs> so cute. You're going to get, this is brand new, Country Christmas. That one just came out. Just came out. Peppermint Bark, because stinking cute. Yes. I don't have dogs. I'm not a dog person, but I would stitch this. And this is brand new, Dotson Through the Snow. <laughs> yeah. So she sent me a text of this picture and was like, hey, what do you think of this stitch? I'm like, that's freaking adorbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so cute. Because she's got a Dotson. I wonder if that's her little guy on the back. I, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, so that is bundle number one. And we're going to say the word dog in comment if you want this. Okay. And so for the second one, you're going to say cat. Mm -hmm. There's a theme here. Yes. So, and then, um, yeah, so Kat in the comments. Um, <laughs> so this one is from last year, OMG Tree. And this is my cat, literally, cats, plural. OMG, yeah. they got me a whole tree. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because that's how cats are. Yeah. We put our tree up. And they're like. We put our tree up last night. She was already in it. Yeah. My cat 
I love before her, she but, died oh she she would lay she would lay under it yeah she so and much. she would just stare yeah they just, just love it they love it cats are weird so leopard christmas tree because cats mm -hmm. cats the leopard is cat yep and then this Santa, is new this one's new santa claus and it comes with the embellishments which i want to show so maybe you can kind of fold it i don't want to show because the patterns on the back i don't know if you can so you get these little charms and it's like fish scales and a mouse yeah so that comes with your chart there see you can see where they're placed there so these are quick little stitches to make little ornaments so yeah. they're gonna be they're gonna be a fast stitch and then this one just came out this year and this is um frosty super cute I it's see. like a quilty yeah it's and really it looks pretty. like um so snowflakes. so cat for that one dog for the other so, um you must be <laughs> over 18 you must be subscribed because i will check um and don't say freebie don't say giveaway giveaway don't say any don't of those use things. those words because it the trolls could come the trolls to play come. <laughs> yeah so okay yeah, cat or dog so feel free to enter because it'll be fun and yes. if you if you see if there are other things that you see check out our or use our coupon code and don't forget to go to annie's yeah and go to annie's website and check out all her other she has the cutest stuff she does She's super talented. Mm -hmm. She's all over the place. She's got snarky and she's got sweet. That's how I describe her designs. Snarky and sweet. Mm -hmm. And then also just, just Annie. Yeah. Like there, there's just Annie things. And then there's snarky sweet. <laughs> like she's so unique. There's anyway. a whole, yeah, I love it. I love it. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to talk about my plans. Okay. What kind of plans do you have? So 2024 plans. Mm -hmm. For next year. Yeah. So trying to get better organized. Um, I was going to buy my book of days and I forgot. And so that's at the store still, but yeah, what are you going to do? Um, um so <clears throat> those will go in. So this here's the from, 2023 book of days That's from this year. Yeah. And this is what mine looks like so far. I got a, a cat postman. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was, fun. so I don't know. I'm more of a fly by the seat of my pants kind of wherever the wind is blowing me. Yeah. I don't know. I try to be organized and then I can't, I think it's just because my life is crazy busy anyway. And so I just kind of work on whatever, but I want to be more intentional with my stitching. Yeah. And so I've got several series that I want to finish. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've got a couple of big ones that I want to start and I have some big ones that I want to finish. And so that's going to be, but go ahead and explain what you've got going on because that's kind of, um, <laughs> she, she's looking at I saw fabric. Hey, fabric. <laughs> There's fabric everywhere. There really is. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So I, I have a lot of whips. I mean, a lot for me. And I'm not going to stop because I like starting things and I like stitching and I'm a journey stitcher. Mm -hmm. I don't need to finish the things like I want to start them. Do I want to finish them? Of course I do. But do I have to finish them to feel fulfilled? No. Um, just doing the stitches is fulfilling and sharing them with you guys is fulfilling and sharing them with my friends is fulfilling. And inspiring and it's, others. Yeah. And you know, and if I inspire you to stitch something, that's awesome. Like I feel good about that, but like, that's not what drives me. It's the making of it is what is my motivation for doing it. Mm -hmm. But I've noticed that, uh, I squirrel. <laughs> so that's my Achilles heel with any kind of stitching progress is that I see the new shiny thing because let's be honest guys, how many have you, okay, let's think about this. It's February and all of the market releases start coming out. What happens, <laughs> right? What do we do? I cry. <laughs> we do, what do we do? We think about all the new things that we want. It's exciting, mm -hmm. right? I am with you guys 100% because I do the same thing. Try working at a, at a cross-stitch store. That's Try being the person that sees all the emails and has to order everything. Yeah. That's me. So it's really hard to like rein it in and not want to get every freaking chart <laughs> that exists. Okay. So for me, I want to, I have, I, I don't buy arbitrarily. I don't just buy every chart just because it's there. Uh, there are there are people who do that and if you do that awesome good for you mm -hmm. that's what that's how you collect your your stitching 
me personally, I have to be more choosy because I don't have a big budget. So I have to really think about, do I really want this because I love it or mm -hmm. because it's the new thing, right. right? Well, then I also have the problem of the new shinies are always coming out. <laughs> and then I'm like, well, I got to stitch that. Mm -hmm. I got I got to stitch it. I, I don't even know what that is yet, but I need it, right? And then I start it and I don't get far. It's I'm like 5% if that done with a lot of my stitches. They're more like starts than they are whips. And it's like dumb because I like <laughs> them all. I love them all or I wouldn't have started them in the first place. Right. Um, and I went through all of my whips and looked at them really carefully. Like, do I really like this? Do I really want to keep them? Do I really care about this stitch? Do I really want to continue working on it? Like Queen Bee Flower Farm. That was one of those stitches where mm -hmm. I was just like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this. Yeah. I don't know if I want to continue the process of putting the work in because I know when it's done, it'll be fabulous. And I'm going to be like, <laughs> that's amazing. But <laughs> Getting to that point is the hard part for me. Yes. Because I don't enjoy stitching on Monaco. There you go. So I'm trying to figure out how do I incorporate my whips? How do I stop myself from the new shiny takeover? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because let's be honest, I'm not going to stop buying things. <laughs> okay? I, can't, I can't. I can't stop. No, because I want to support stop. designers. I want to support designers now. I want to support them now yeah. because I appreciate what they do. Mm -hmm. For sure. So what I've decided is I'm going to do a modified stitch from stash for 2024. What does that mean? That means that I am allowing myself to purchase product in 2024, like new, new starts. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, like, or not new stars, new charts, like, you know, okay, market came out and all these new things are coming out. Oh my gosh, I love them all. I have to have them. But I'm like, okay, am I, am I loving them because they're new? I'm going to be asking myself that question. Do I love <laughs> them because they're new or what, can I wait a year oh, to, I see. to start them? Do I have to have them right now because I want to start them that bad? Well, I want to start them in a year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is kind of like a delayed gratification definition of maturity <laughs> situation right oh, okay and the reason why i'm doing that is because i'm eliminating the squirrel he's eliminated mm -hmm. okay okay so how i'm doing it is what why i mean modified is if i have the chart in my stash in 2023 then so this year till the end till 11 <laughs> 2023 if I have that She's chart in my stash right yeah if I have that in my stash I will be able to purchase threads and fabric for it next year okay when the new shinies come out and I'm like oh I, I must stitch like when Lila Studio um, Autumn Quaker comes oh. out I already know I'm buying that but hey guess what that's gonna be a 2025 sale I'm not starting it till then. I know you're, you can't wait that can't long. Can't wait that long. No, and that's fine. <laughs> but like, that's when I'm going to start it is in 2025. I'm not starting it then because it will be purchased in 2024. Because why? It's not available yet. Now, if it comes out in a week. That would be awesome. It might start <laughs> next year because I will already own the chart. There, see? See? See what I'm doing there? Yeah. Okay. So that's where I'm eliminating the squirrel. All right. Okay. Now my Moving whips. Moving on. Yeah. My whips. I have many whips. So I've already completed my whip go board. Dang. So this is my whip go board because how am I going to incorporate my whip go? I'm doing whip go different this year. Okay. Just so we're all aware, this is a lot to unpack and it seems complicated, but I'm doing this for specific reasons. Sorry. Okay, so you have to explain. I am again. What Whipgo? Okay, so Whipgo yes. is um, it is by Jesse Marie. Does stuff on Instagram and YouTube. Is it a hashtag on Instagram? Like yeah, like Whipgo twenty twenty three is a is a hashtag. But okay. like it's a it's a movement. It's a Facebook group. Oh, it's a oh, okay. it's a Facebook group. I this gotcha. is my Whipgo wow. for this year. So you'll notice that these are all specific projects. They are like jack-o'-lantern stocking, geisha beauty, frogwarts year one, American Eagle, blah, blah, blah. 
So when I was planning out this year, I was going and looking at specific designs I wanted to focus on for this year. But I noticed, you'll notice that if it's green, it's called. If it has the purple with the line through it, that means I finished it. I don't have a lot of finish goals. And my goal is literally to touch it twice. Oh. In a, in a month. So how do you select which one you... You choose whatever you want. It's your, your board, your rules. You choose your goals. If you have any, you choose your, your designs that you put okay. on there, whatever. Okay. Do you like roll the dice so you know which square no, you're on? No, she tells you on the 25th of every month what the next month's uh, numbers are. Oh, okay. So the board is numbered 1 through 25. That's okay. Okay. Because it's like sense. a modified bingo board. I got you. Okay. Okay. So um, I'm still doing Whipgo, but I'm doing a modified version for myself. Because up until I've done, this will be my fourth Whipgo. I've done Whipgo for, yeah. This will be my, 2024 will be my fourth. That's a cool one, I think. I think that's right. I don't know. Whatever. So every year I had done uh, a specific item, specific design in each square. So I'm realizing that when those designs are called, I'm like, I'm not feeling that chart. I don't want to stitch it. <laughs> so then it, I'm like, okay, well, I just, I'll stitch it later. And then I never do. Uh -huh, gotcha. And then I don't get whip goes. And I don't have like a specific goal, like, oh, I get to buy a project bag or, oh, I get to kit up a new thing. Cause guess well, what? Like if you get like a bingo. Yeah, I already do it. I so gotcha. I don't have goals. My goal is just to work on projects. That's All right. kind of what I use it for. So how I'm using this is I'm going to have themes in my boxes. So my themes, I went through all of my whips and I wrote them out on a piece of paper. She's so organized. And it filled, it was double-sided. She pull more than one number? No, she, she pulls two numbers. Oh, two numbers. Because I'm like, you've got way more numbers on there than the months of the year. So... So these are all my kitted or partial kitted. Wow. Okay. That's insane. Okay. She's so organized. No, this is, I and have it to be. inspires me because I am not. No. I don't, I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm just saying. I'm just not. And I try. It's just, I don't know. I just. You get, like, oh, you, yeah, you have the, the plague of the squirrel. Um, I, I guess maybe I'm organized in different ways. I just don't write it all down. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't, know. I don't know. Okay, so I wrote all, I don't have that paper anymore. But like, I Sorry. basically what I did was, is I wrote down all of my whips, current actual whips. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I, um, and then I went and I categorized them by theme. Okay. So the themes that I decided to use are winter slash Christmas, Halloween, autumn, because those are two very different subject oh, matters. Yes, they are. Um, patriotic, pop culture slash books, gift from someone. So that means I received the chart or kit or whatever from someone else. Okay. Gift for somebody. Silk. So it has to be stitched with silk. Okay. Like 100% silk mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or mostly silk. Um, perforated paper, mirabilia, reproduction, and summer. Wow. So you'll notice that summer and patriotic are not the same. Two different things. Yep. But what I did was I, some of these designs are in multiple themes. Mm -hmm. So like categories. Um, Christmas, let's say. Did I put that over there? I did it. Did I? No, I did. Okay. So like in par <laughs> Partridge and Pear by Satsuma Street is mm -hmm. a Christmas ornament. It is stitched on perforated paper, but it's also Christmas. So it is in both oh, I see. doodads. I got so you. like, if you don't want to use all of my versions of, or my themes, you could go through yours and be like, okay, well, I, I want to do one with food because I like to stitch things with food. So like mm -hmm. berry bolts, that counts as food. Mm -hmm. Or if it's got crabs on it, it's food, but it's also summer. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? So like, um, I have, like in my summer category, I have Treasure Island, 
with, by Olive Forest Embroidery, which is a stitch along. And that is also under my pop culture and books because it's based off of the book. Mm -hmm. um, Frog Warts, which is based off of Harry Potter, and that is a pop culture, but it's also based off of books. Oh, I see where you fit the pop culture in there. I yeah. got you. Um, I also you. have Lord of the Rings sampler. Which pop is, culture. Which is pop culture slash book slash movie slash fandom slash whatever. Yeah. And I decided to add lines in here for when I start things. And I pop it in there. Oh. Like, you. so I can, so let's say Jesse Marie desi decides, okay, she rolls the dice and she pulls numbers one and 14 for January. So that is Halloween and summer. Not great for January, but whatever. <laughs> so what I can do is I can go into these ho my Halloween section and pick a I Halloween one. She, okay. And then go over here to summer and pick a summer one and just stitch on it for a few days. Mm -hmm. And then I'm, I'm golden. Like I've, I've met my hollow, I've met my whip go goal. Cause my goal is still the same of touching it twice. Okay. That's good. That's good. Now how my whip go is fitting in with my plans is having a daily 30. I like so that Monday through Friday, I am going to stitch on a daily 30 piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm trying to be really intentional with how I'm doing this because I'm finding that I'm not having time for myself mm -hmm. and it's causing burnout. So I need to make that time because here's the deal. This is something that like, I don't know about you, but like if you make the time, if you want to make the time, you'll make the time. Mm -hmm. If you want to do the thing, you'll make the time to do it. So the people who are like, oh, I don't have time to do that. It's like, in some cases, you really don't <laughs> because you're working 24 seven right. or whatever. But <laughs> I like, know there's some days that I don't. But right. But I like, try. or you're just tired or whatever. So yeah. I was like, okay, if I leave my daily 30 till the evening, I'm not going to do it. Oh. So I get up and before I even have my coffee. Oh yeah. See, I can't stitch without my coffee. Yeah. Well. I didn't think I could either, and I did it for a whole week so far. Wow. So for an entire week so far, I started on Monday morning. I have been working on a piece for 30 minutes a day, and I'll show it to you. And um, while I am stitching, I am listening to a, a Bible podcast. <gasps> I love that. So then I'm incorporating my Bible time, mm -hmm. which I have not been keeping up on because I haven't had time. Because I homeschool and I work from home and I'm, you know, all the things, right? Life is hard sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then my evenings are taken up with my boys' ex extra activities like scouts or baseball or whatever. And dinner and husband. And dinner and, and all the things, you know. <laughs> House. And, and yeah, just trying to keep it all together. Mm -hmm. So like trying to make sure I still have time for myself. That's the only time that I have for myself mm -hmm. is in the morning where I know I can carve out that half an hour. So that's what I'm doing is I am making that, I'm making myself a priority. It's good. And I am encouraging you guys to, I'm not waiting for that until 2024. I've started that already. Yeah. I encourage you to take time for yourself every day. Even if it's, if you can't do 30 minutes, make it 15. Mm -hmm. Make it a small, even if it's just enough time to put in 10 stitches on a stitch yeah. or sew a few seams on your sewing machine mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be. Like if it's in between picking up kids from school and starting dinner and you have that 15 minute window, make that be your time Yep. and, yep. and work on something for yourself and do something for yourself. Because if we are all, we all are the care people, right? We are constantly the ones who are the care people. We're, tr we're the ones who know what's going on with everybody. We're the one that has all the stuff going on with chauffeuring the kids or making sure <laughs> we have everything going on. Or maybe you're making the care list of an elderly parent or, or something. Yeah. Where you're just spread thin and yeah. there's no time for you and life is stressful and you're missing out on the stuff that you enjoy. And then you feel the burnout. And then you feel burnout. And so if you're and in that's that hard. boat, a lot of us are in that boat, you know? Yeah. So like, I don't know, a few videos back, I was talking about how I, I lost my quilty bug and I wasn't wanting to quilt, which is weird. Even my kids noticed yeah. that I wasn't sitting at like, my sewing machine anymore and I wasn't making things. Yeah. And I didn't want to even really stitch 
at, or do anything. Mm -hmm. And it was because I was just burnt out of everything. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, how can I get this back? How can I make, how can I be myself again? Yeah. Right? How can, and sometimes that looks different for different people. Um, but I, in my opinion, phones, I, I look at, I use my phone to watch floss too more than I do anything else. I don't have games on my phones. I don't really use apps. I don't, I think Instagram can be a time suck. I limit myself <laughs> yeah. to social media for like maybe five minutes a day. I scroll for five minutes and then I'm done because it's a time suck, especially mm -hmm. if you get into the reels and you just keep watching oh, yeah. the reels like, watch the next one watch and you the watch next the next one. one and you are and then the next thing you know it's two o'clock in the morning and you're like uh how that happened? I just wasted two hours of my life doing nothing yes and yeah. it's, a, it's a time suck and so like I've tried to be more intentional with how I use my time because I'm realizing that it's not benefiting me to be on social media all the time can social media be a great thing and a powerful tool to help us and to inspire us absolutely but it's can, it's also a dark and ugly place and I just see things on there sometimes and I'm just like, this is not helping me. Mm -hmm. So I am removing that as a priority in my life. It's good going forward. And I'm exchanging it for a different priority. So I am making myself that priority instead. I hope that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and it's only for 30 minutes. And my kids are not wanting right? They got mm -hmm. their breakfast. They're literally eating breakfast while I'm doing my daily 30. That's good. And then I eat my breakfast and drink my coffee and then we start school. Mm -hmm. That's how it's worked this week. That's great. Um, well, show so, us what you've been working on. Yeah. So there it is. Where did it go? So basically what I'm going to do for my whip go though, is I'm using my whip go pulls as my daily 30 piece. Okay. That's how it'll go in 2024. Okay. So but for now, for now, I just grabbed a piece because I was like, this one needs love. So this bag or this bag is by Cricklewood Crossing. It's an Anne of Green Gables bag because the entire point of this whole story is about friendship. Is that the older line? The older. Anne? Oh yeah. It's like from yeah. three or four lines, love lines ago. One. So this is Feast of Friendship by Blackbird's, Blackbird Designs. And this is 100% Christy Crosshatch Quilt's fault <laughs> because I saw her stitch and I was like, must have. So I think I am stitching it on the same fabric she did. And I did the same conversion and stuff too. Awesome. I don't know what I'm stitching this on. Do I have a paper? <laughs> but I kitted this up during the pandemic, so it was hard to get threads. Yeah, so this is um, 36 count. Ren by Picture This Plus. I mean, it does. This is how old it is. Oh wow! Yeah. From the store. Yeah, it's, it's not like even a barcode. Yeah, on that was before we had barcodes. So these are the threads. Um, those are great colors. I did swap out whatever this color is for Shaker White. So originally it calls for. See, I have notes and everything of like swapping this. For I do that, that too. I try um, to do that. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Oh, oh shaker white. Yeah, bowl alternate. Because Christy, that's what I think she used. Was that. So, um, look at this giant ring. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> yeah. A lot of floss. The, it, it's not that much, actually. It was hard to kit. There's multiples of one color. Mm. Okay, so the stitch. Oh, that house has a ton of blue in it. it. There's actually three colors of blue in it. Here, you want this? Yes. Let me fold it. You're good. So again, I've been stitching in hand before I was stitching on a Q-snap. That's really pretty, Cheryl. So what have I done? On Monday when I picked this up, I had Feast of Friendship done and I had this part of the border finished. Mm -hmm. I finished this whole side and down here and I outlined, I finished the bowl, the wow. inside of the bowl, the whole bottom part of the bowl here was not finished. So I finished that. Um, I outlined the pumpkin and started the filling of the pumpkin and did the vine of the pumpkin. Oh, and I frogged two grapes that were wrong. So mm. that's how I started my daily 30 
on Monday was, was I froggy. frogged <laughs> because I knew that that was actually part of the reason why I hadn't picked it up because I knew it was wrong. Uh, and I was like, uh, I don't want to stitch on that because I'm going to have to frog. Yeah. And I was like, Band-Aid time. <laughs> Rip it off. So I did. And so that's where, I, that, where I'm at now. And that was um, working on it. I worked on it every day since Monday morning. That's great. So the 30th of October. And I worked on it this morning. I started the filling of the pumpkin. And while I was doing that, I was listening to God's word. That's awesome. So that help, that's that been helping me as well. Because, um, you know, times are hard. Yeah. This, the world is a scary place right now. And when you have young kids, all you think about is how the world is going to be mm -hmm. later. And so as a mom... And other moms, I'm sure you feel this way too, that you have that on your heart. And like, how do, how do we deal with that and cope with that yep. as parents? Yep. Or, Stay connected to God's word and, um, and pray. Yeah. And, uh, and surround yourself by good friends. Yeah. You know, like I'm grateful for my friends. <laughs> They've been my backbone for the past week and a half. So there's been a lot going on. Yes. A lot going on. And then this is actually a needle minder I made. Oh, I made you one. Yes. Yeah. I, so this is actually, um, this one is my star. This one is my friend Reese's star. And this is my friend Artis's star. So I started this, I think, before I even knew you. Mm -hmm. That's really yeah. cute. Yeah. So, That's and I great. stitched over one. And I, I just charted it out. I have mine. I, it's, it's, with a, it's with a stitch <laughs> somewhere yeah it's with, with one of my regular stitches yes so any so. hoozy so that is also a whip that I worked on so that's the also the power in the in the like the fruit of my work right mm -hmm. yeah it's awesome. because look how much I got done just working on it for 30 minutes a day mm -hmm. sometimes it was 25 depending on how I would literally press start on my podcast and it would be sometimes 15 minutes like last yesterday was a 15 minute one because I had to work mm. so I knew that I didn't have as much time because I had right. to get there by nine to get ready for my class so um I had to prepare things yeah that's good so that's I good. but I got a lot done you know I, I I worked on it I and it feels really good to have this stuff done and it feels accomplished it feels accomplished and now I can like work on this pumpkin and like just fill it in and then I can start working on the house and then I'm not doing this here because it's just an a lone vine by itself on the other side of the house it's not connected to anything oh. so I don't care if it matches oh. because <laughs> I'll make it match it'll fit one way it'll or another fit one way or another okay so those are my plans. I know that sounds kind of confusing. I'll go over it again as we get closer and the more videos we do. But mm -hmm. like, that's kind of what I'm doing. So I have my daily 30 piece from Monday through Friday. Saturday will be reserved for my Sunday stitch if I want to start early. Or it'll be a new start day. Because I, like I have 27 kits. <laughs> And then I pull, I have things that are partially kitted too. So I have like, I'm missing fabric or I'm missing something from it. So like I literally took a, an entire bag of, of projects and I was like, John, my husband, here, kit these up for me for Christmas. You can choose to have the boys pick. I love that idea. That's awesome. Like one of them is snow days. <gasps> Yay. Because you have the chart. And then Michelle, you have the chart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yes, please. That's an out of print chart by Marabilia. That's a unicorn, and I need to stitch it. I have my ideally like somewhere a third height. of the way down, I think. Yeah. So From like twenty years ago. I mean, that's how long I've had it. I mean, anyways, anyways, that's so oh, my Sunday stitch for sorry, sorry the chairs. Yeah. So, sorry. So if you want to go ahead and talk about your plans. So and then we'll talk about this. We've talked about quite a few of them already. Um, I have one other one that's really been kind of like, I really want to get it done. So last year, last year, no, not last year, several years ago, I started, hold on, hold on. Okay. Several years ago, I started these Lizzie Cates, um, the year or the monthly. Yes. So these are called, I just bought the November one. They're called Flip It. A year with charm. Yeah, I just bought this. They look like this. Yeah, here's a March one. Cute. And you have some of them done, right? I have some. Yeah, of you them have done. February done. <laughs> okay, so 
Show the cute thing. So I'm going to show the cute thing, but then it'll also explain why this is part of my plans. Yes. Because okay. she has this cute board, like <laughs> side, back table thing that right in her. Yeah. I have a sofa table. That's and so called. yeah. Behind my couch is this little long, narrow table. And on it, I have a couple of candles and then I have this little, hold on. I'm going to try and show it without it making a mess. It's this little like. Here, it's I a, can hold you talk. There you go. It's a little display. So it's got this basket and I put a candle in it and it's got this frame that sticks up and I change it out every month. So now we're in November, so it's got the vines and the pumpkins and stuff. Well, this tells you how long it's been because it still says September. Well, and then it was it said February <laughs> until June. So it said February <laughs> until June because I only had anyway. But okay. look, June's done now. <laughs> I see it right there. Oh, that's a different one. Is that's that something. different? That one's different. Stop it. So yeah, okay. So anyway, I have this little tin. I got this at Hobby Lobby. Really cute. And it fits in all of my little finishes. So here's February. And this sat in the frame until July. So she just pops <laughs> pops those out and pops this yes. in. Yes. And so I just finished these on like cardstock on poster board, you know. Yeah. With a little bit of fabric. So there's July. Oh, and you wrote the date you finished. That one I did. Cute. Well, Good idea. Was, Good idea. And then this one is August. So I have July, August, September. September. And then here's December. December. Oh, you could pop that. You could pop that so, in because you already have your tree up. But I've got, um, I started November. Okay. And I think I have January done too. I don't know where it is. I have to find <laughs> it. <laughs> so you stitch all these on Vintage Country Mocha. I picked the same fabric. 32 so they count. They all look the same. 32 count Vintage Country Lugana. Mocha. Lugana. Looks like Lugana. Or is it? No, it's linen. No, it is linen. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, so here's, here, I have March done. And so I started, started November and you got May started. and I, That's I have May. the frame for December. So my goal this month is to finish November and December. It could be like a monthly stitch and get those in. Well, that was the plan. So I started like two, three months ahead of whatever yeah. month that I wanted it finished for. Right. So it tells you how far I got when February was sitting in there until July. <laughs> and so my kids were making fun of me and like, and so was I. <laughs> So is she. So I'm like, okay, oh, fine. I'm going to get them done. Because so I, I think goal. I came in February and we filmed. No, I came in March. Our first flossy was at my house in February. Yeah. And then the second one we came and it was March. <laughs> and I was like, you realize that's February, right? Yeah. So they all fit in this little tin. I wasn't trying to be rude. No, I no, just, no, no. Because she's busy. So I'm like, maybe she forgot. It was motivation to finish. And maybe so they go in this little tin, so when I'm all done... We can talk about Whipco, and maybe that can help you. So, that's on my list. Because she likes monthly themes and, like, season themes. I like her stitching stitches. stuff out. And, yeah, it's cute. Decorating with stitching. Yeah, so yeah. I try to do that. And so that's on my thing. But then, so that's it for now. Other than that one last thing that we want to talk about. Where's yours at that I just got you? Okay. <sighs> so, in 2024, my Sunday stitch is going to be Hawker and Hollow. Now, obviously there are eight? No, one, two, there's Houses of Hawker and Hollow, Village, Shores, Christmas, Autumn, Farms, Spring, Year, and Halloween. And then also Map of Hawker and Hollow. I am doing Map of Hawker and Hollow. This is Samantha's fault from Huga Stitcher. <laughs> Hi, Samantha, this is your fault. <laughs> And I am really tempted to get the Vicki Clayton silks for this. Oh. Yeah. Because there's not, compared to this floss list, that's my floss list. Not mm -hmm. a huge deal. So your floss list or Christmas at Hawker and Hollow or a year of Hawker and Hollow is like 50 or 60 skeins. It's insane, right? And then you're having to get multiples of skeins. So this is going to be a new start on January 1st. No. No? No, it's the first Sunday of January. Oh, I'm sorry. The first Sunday. So it's going to be starting Sunday, January, January 7th, 2024 is the official start date. Now, if you already have a Hawk Run going or you want to start as your new year, new start of Hawk Run Hollow, whatever the case may be, if you want to start your Hawk Run right now, you go ahead. Mm -hmm. But if you want to participate in our stitch along, we are having this be our Sunday stitch. Mm -hmm. So we're going to, as a group, 
so there's a few of us that are doing this that are local, but we are also encouraging everyone to join in with us mm -hmm. because this is a fun way to work on a giant, huge piece, but to have like motivational stitching and yeah. you're stitching with friends. Yeah. And this could also be a start along for you. If you mm -hmm. don't want to have it be your, your Sunday stitch and you just want to start it, that's cool too. We have a hashtag that we are going to use. It is going to be Hawk Run Hollow 2024 because I, we were going to do Sundays at Hawk Run Hollow, but it's really long and it's I like, we'll it, still use it anyway. I mean, maybe we'll have two or something. I'm not sure. The official one. Yeah. The official one is going to be hashtag Hawk Run Hollow 2024. And we are opening this up to any Hawk Run Hollow. Mm -hmm. If it's Hawk, if it's a Hawk Run Hollow, it counts. Yep. Okay. If you've These started it. These are my Caratel samplings, yes. by the way. So I'm doing maps because, okay, so funny story. <laughs> <laughs> this is how awesome I am. I go, oh my gosh, I love that eagle right there. I'm so dumb. It's a hawk. Because <laughs> hawk run. Hawk run. Hollow. Anyways. I just don't think, you know, I'm thinking, oh, it's an eagle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dumb. It's a hawk. So even my kid was like, no, that's a hawk, mom. I'm like, duh. It's all right. <laughs> I mean, he would have an aviary if he could. So he knows about so all the birds. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm planning to, if I don't do the Vicki Clayton silks, I'm going to just do DMC, but I am going to pull some classic color works bell swah for the blue in the oh, water. that's a great idea. Because it's variegated and I want to, I'm extra, I want kind to silk. Mm -hmm. And then I'm probably going to pull one of the colors from the hawk and have that be silk and then there's also some green in here for like the trees and like it's block yep. colors that I might use silk for because it'll show up and it'll be more now for these fiddly bits not so much um yeah, there's little tiny pieces and I'm planning works. to stitch this on 36 count uh grace notes fabric Bradley but I don't have it yet mm. it's in my cubby at work cool still so this is my Sunday stitch for Yay. 2024. Love it. Join us. Yes. What Join do you us. have? So I'm doing the farms because I loved it. That was my second choice. And um, I was torn between the farms and the village. Yeah. But I ended up with this one. I like that one. I like the layout. I like and the houses one too. I like the houses too. Yeah. But I'm going to start in the top left corner and I figured I'm just going to buy each floss Per, I'm going to buy floss per block. So I'll start with this one. And a lot of the colors go they repeat. throughout. But I'm doing mine in overdyed. Are you going to convert it? Mm -hmm. Your own conversion? Mm -hmm. So I've already started pulling floss. Of for course that. you have. Because I mean, really, you could just take the DMC and then figure out what floss that is and then make your own conversion. Based yeah. On and that. so I started doing that. Um, so I have all of the colors for the first. So are you going to share? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Once I, yeah. Once I get it all together, I will show you my conversion and I don't have my fabric yet. Cause I haven't decided what color I want to do it. I think I'm just, honestly, there's so much stitching in here. I think I may just do a 36 count vintage country mocha. Um, cause there's a lot of dead stitching in there and like this right here. Yeah. So like a lot of the hawk runs, as you well know, some of them, these blocks are full coverage. Yeah, they are. So they're solid. Yeah. So like this one's a lot of stitching. This is dead stitching. So yeah. So that's my plan. Um, and as I get my conversion put together, I will show you what I've done. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm still, I'm still going to figure out like a, I'm not, cause I don't have like a, like it's not blocks, right? So yeah, I it, can't, I can't do. This is the only one that looks like that. Yeah. My, Everything and, else is in so a grid. So funny story is I'm the queen of the BAP, right? The big ass project. <laughs> Sorry. But that's what it is. And out of all of our local friends who are doing this, I chose the one that's the smallest one. <laughs> it's like how that happened. The rest of these are all about the same size. But how it happened was all Samantha's fault. Because she showed this on her floss tube. Like, and I was like, I must do. Mm, you're cementing that in my brain. Must have. Yes. yes. It'll be really fun. So if you've already started a hawk run, if you were planning to start a hawk run, if you've got one kitted up and you want to join us, please do. Yeah. They can um, be intimidating. So like sometimes you need someone to hold your hand with you. So, hey, we'll be your hand holders. Well, and that's why I said I'm starting, I'm going to do one square at a time. I'm just going to focus on this square. Yeah. 
And then I'm, I'm like, like <laughs> I mean, she can't, but all of the other ones. I can do my border. Start my border. There you go. And then I can, because if you do your border, then you can count off. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And you can move on different sections. But yeah, so that'll be really fun. Please join. Um, I might have to leave the hawk until last. Because so what, what was our what was our hashtag? Our hashtag hawk is Hawk Run Hollow 2024. And we might have another one um, Sundays at Hawk Run Hollow because it's going to be a Sunday, a Sunday stitch, stitch for our local group. But if, and if you want it to be your Sunday stitch, you can use that hashtag as well. But some people can't stitch on Sundays because they're busy with other activities or going to church or whatever. Sure. So they might not have as much time on Sundays, but Saturday is their day. So you can use the other hashtag or you can, you can use both. I don't really care. Whatever <laughs> you matter. choose. Yeah. So that is so, what yep. our, that's really our plans for 2024 is mine is being intentional and focusing on my whips because I love all my whips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm love them all yep. and they all need love and i can't start autumn uh autumn quaker until i get more into summer quaker because that has a very small start on it and it's bunk <laughs> <laughs> i know i know exactly why i never started it's because you wanted autumn. Up. It's because I've been waiting for autumn. Yeah, and here she's getting what and she wants. So I wonder what winter will look like. Oh man, that Lila Studio, man, they know what they're doing. Yep, they sure do. So, so I, know. I think that's all for plans I have. That's it. I, I know mine sound convoluted and really complicated, but they're really not. It's really <laughs> just I'm using Whipgo to be my to help me with my daily thirty. Mm -hmm. Stitching every day, my daily thirty in the morning, listening to Bible podcasts. If you guys have a recommendation for a bible podcast like a christian bo podcast that is your favorite that's motivational it's intentional it's uplifting um please feel free to share it with me because um i'm interested in in hearing the different ones because th i'm new to that part of world i also um or if there's a youtube channel mm -hmm. that has like a because i can just listen to it you know what i mean i don't have to watch it so yeah it's good so, so anyway, yeah, I all think right. That's all. Thanks you guys for hanging with us and for um, following along yes. and for being so supportive. Yes. And uh, we're excited to hear and see all of the awesome projects you guys are working on. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see you next time. Yes. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.